Let's look at this problem 415 from chapter two, section seven of OpenStack's volume three calculus book. Use a computer algebra system to graph in cylindrical coordinates, the region between the elliptic paraboloid Z equals X squared plus Y squared and the cone Z squared equals X squared plus Y squared. Let me try to draw this fairly on a piece of paper and then we'll move over to Mathematica and graph it. So first for the elliptic paraboloid, Z equals X squared plus Y squared, which I tried to draw in red. Now this is a bowl. And if X is zero, Z equals X squared. If Y is zero, Z equals X squared or Z equals Y squared, excuse me. These are parabolas cross sections, like a parabola spun about the Z axis, basic parabola. You could say x squared plus y squared is r squared. You could call this parabola z equals r squared, paraboloid z equals r squared in cylindrical coordinates. I try to draw this in red here, generally like a little bowl. The cone, x squared plus y squared equals z squared. If x or y is zero, then you get z is plus or minus x plus or minus y. You get straight line sides z equals plus minus x equals plus minus y in the planes. But the only region that's gonna be trapped between this cone and this bowl is the region above the x, y plane. So that's what we've drawn here. x squared plus y squared is z squared. That's r squared equals z squared in cylindrical coordinates. Now to realize that graphed in Mathematica, I'm going to plot all the points R cosine theta, R sine theta, and if R squared is Z squared, R in place of Z, that'll give me the cone that I tried to draw in blue. And for the elliptic paraboloid, R cosine theta, R sine theta, and if R squared is Z, then I put R squared in place of the Z in the third slot. Notice as we said, these things meet at the origin. These two surfaces meet at the origin above the x, y plane. They also meet at the circle x squared plus y squared equals one and z equals one. Notice if x squared plus y squared is one in both cases and z equals one, that would satisfy both of these equations. x squared plus y squared equals z squared could be satisfied also if z was minus one, but that wouldn't be on this red bowl. So we're only gonna be concerned with radiuses between zero and one and theta as it travels all the way around the z axis zero to two pi. Let's move over to Mathematica and see what this looks like. I'm gonna open Mathematica window. And then I'm going to share that with you. In Mathematica, I use parametric plot 3D to plot the upper cone, R cosine theta, R sine theta, and R. And I let R go from 0 to 1, theta from 0 to 2 pi. Let's make this blue and somewhat transparent. And the elliptic paraboloid in parametric plot 3D also, R cosine theta, R sine theta, and z equals r squared, r from zero to one, theta from zero to two pi. Let's make this red and a little more transparent. So now when I execute those commands, I can show you the upper cone, the elliptic paraboloid together. I'll label the axes, x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. I'll put the origin of the axes at zero, 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 kind of a traditional drawing. And I'll choose the side ratios of the boxes to show this to good effect. Here is the cone in blue and the elliptic paraboloid in red. The transparency makes this a, you know, a fun visualization. 